Today on the Tuesday Trio, we look at three options if you need a budget DAW. Pro DAWs can cost a lot of money. A lot of money. Like, way too much money. So today we're gonna look at three budget options if you need a digital audio workstation. Come along, Pond. First up on our list of budget DAWs is one of the most popular DAWs in the world, GarageBand. GarageBand is an amazing beginner DAW, but of course the problem is it's only on Macs. What makes GarageBand great for beginners is it has everything you need included. It's got loops, it's got software instruments, it's got lots of great sounds and effects that come with it and are very easy to use. You can see here we already have a drummer. We have an electric guitar preset here, an acoustic guitar preset. We have a Steinway grand piano. You can hear my beautiful piano playing there. Uh, and then we have our vocal track here. So that is GarageBand. If you have a Mac, it probably came free with your computer. If, you, if it didn't come with your computer, it's only $15. And if you have it, you should definitely use it. It's a great way to get started into music production. If you don't have a Mac, don't worry. You have some good options as well. So next up, we have a program that is both Mac and PC. It is PreSonus Studio One. It is a beginner version of a professional DAW, basically. So this here is PreSonus Studio One Prime. This is the free version. Uh, the artist version is $99. It's the exact same program as this. It just comes with a lot more effects and other features. So you can see here we have our tracks here. We have our channels down here. We have our inserts for all of our effects. The artist version, I believe, comes with 30 different effects. Um, it also comes with tons of software instruments over here. Uh, you have Studio Instruments Volume 1, Studio 1 Instruments Volume 2, as well as a lot of loops. And that way it's similar to GarageBand in that it comes with a lot of stuff you need to get started. As you can see, we could just add a loop out here. We could add an instrument. Let's add a full B3. You can hear that on my keyboard. We can go ahead and record my voice. Check, 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 check. There we go, I recorded the keyboard and my voice. And as you could hear, we now have an amazing song. My voice. Check, 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 check. I think that is going to go platinum. So this is PreSonus Studio One, a great option for a budget DAW. You can get Studio One Prime for free, and that may even be enough for you so you won't have to purchase the artist version. And finally, we have Reaper. So Reaper is a professional DAW, and it is $60 for personal use, or $225 for commercial use. And it is a professional DAW. As you can see here in the menus, there's a lot going on. Um, I don't even know what most of this stuff is, to be honest with you. You could play with this thing for years, I'm sure, and not figure it all out. So like every doll, the basics are pretty similar. Here's our track, here's our channel. You can see my voice coming through. Uh, we could click record, <laughs> if I can find it. Record, oh, there we go, and now we're recording my voice. There we go. Um, I had a previous take, so it looks like we had two takes, which is nice. Uh, you can click effects here, and there are tons of effects that come with it, because again, it is a professional level doll. You can see there's all kinds of stuff here. So that is Reaper. It is $60. Um, it is going to have the steepest learning curve by far, but that steeper learning curve comes with a whole lot of professional features. So my recommendation, if you're on a Mac, use GarageBand. You already have it. It's a great program. If you're on a PC, try out PreSonus Studio One. You can download Prime for free and see if you like it. And if you need a professional level doll but don't want to spend a lot of money and you want to try to figure it out for years, try out Reaper. A lot of people swear by it. I haven't figured it out yet, but who knows. If you use any of those audio editors, let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear your experiences. And I will see you back here next Tuesday for another list of awesome.